In this open shot tutorial I will show you how to convert a colour video clip into a black and white one. If you've never used open shot before you need to decide what format you're going to save your video in. Um, once you know what, what you're going to save your video as just come to the top left of the screen, left click on edit and then left click preferences ignore all this and just left click on profiles now mine says default profile HD 1080p 50 frames FPS 50 frames per second um, and that's because I've already set it up as that if I want to change it I can left click on the little arrow and decide what codex aspect ratio and size I want to save it as. So as I said mine is at 50 frames per second. So if I changed it say 25 frames per second and then close this down it will come up with this. Please restart OpenShot for all preferences to take effect. So I'll just left click OK. So if you changed it you'll need to close it down and open up again. I'm not going to change um, my preferences. I'm going to leave it as it is. Okay. You'll also need to change the view. So again, top left of the screen, look for the button that says View, left click on it, and next to Views, left click Advanced View. And this will bring up all your effects down the right hand side. I'm going to just drag this over using this line of dots drag this down just to get a better view okay now you can import your video into this here this projects file box for want of a better word by right clicking on it then left click import files and then navigating around your computer until you find your video I don't like doing this on my computer because I can't see the thumbnails so what I do is I'll go into my file browser and then find the video I want to use this way and also helps if you uh, click the right folder and then I log down my left mouse button on the video clip and just drag it into this box. Okay. <coughs> Make sure this line is right at the very beginning. If you're not sure, just left click on this left hand button here, jump to start. Also make sure the magnet selected, this helps it snap to the beginning. Okay, pointer over the video thumbnail hold down your left mouse button drag your video clip into track 4 then again using your left mouse button just drag it along until it snaps to the beginning come over to the effects box here and look for color saturation and then with your left mouse button held down over it drag it over your video clip Now you should be able to see a little box that says S. Place your pointer on this so that it lights up and then just left click. Now in the box next to saturation where it says 1, left click, type 0, hit return and you'll end up with a black and white um, image. I'm not going to play this because I know this will convert to black and white. Um, and that's all you need to do. Um, the only other thing is if your pointer is say halfway along this video clip and you then drag this into um, this timeline what, you'll, what will happen is as it plays it will go from colour and then it will go to black and white which can look quite good um, I'm not going to do that um, so all I'm going to do now is just render this video so top of the screen look for the red button left click on it this is the export video button 
Now I'm already set up here. You have got the option of quality, low, medium, high. So I'm going to leave this as high. Now I'm going to give this a name. So I don't know, we'll call it steam train. You can call, you won't have a steam train probably. So, uh, and then decide where you're going to save your video. So left click on the browse button and let's go desktop where everything I do ends up until I decide what I want to do with that. Okay. And then just left click export video. And I'll come back to this when it's finished rendering. Okay, well that's finished rendering now, so let's see what we've got. And as you can see, we've now got a black and white video clip. Hopefully that's helped someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.